This video is brought to you by this wrench. <laughs> So, um, we are back. I'm Jeb. We're here doing a little filming on the, um, a little update of the update of the E46 wide body. The, um, the reason this car is in the shop is I got some projects cleared out and I needed to do some work on this car personally because it was, I had an oil leak and, you know, needed to update the water pump and thermostat and just, just typical maintenance stuff. But, I've like been collecting all these parts to put on the car for a while and I have this pile of stuff that I've been wanting to do to it so while I was doing the maintenance I figured I'd start stabbing at all this stuff. Um, I mentioned in the last update that the headers from the factory on the E46s are some sort of atrocity that should be on like the Titanic or maybe boat anchors or I don't know whatever you want to use them for. but. It just doesn't seem like they should be headers, and you can go Google that, and if you want to know what they look like, and then you'd be like, ah, I understand. So, any old header would do. It doesn't matter if it's a cheap Chinese header on eBay or the $1,500 header that you buy from, you know, some BMW performance shop. Anything will do because they can be. It can't possibly be worse than the factory header. So, I. I bought exhaust, it wasn't expensive um, relatively for what you get. And um, I made control arms and knuckles to uh, widen the stance of the front of the car so that I could get the like 60 degrees or more of steering angle for, for sliding the car and drifting. I, I made the control arms a while ago and, and I'm putting them on and sort of finishing up all the pieces I need to make and I make, I, I pretty much have that done. The control arms are uh, are one piece cut on uh, CNC plasma cut, and then you know I, I welded in bungs and have uniballs, and I made the pins on the CNC machine, and and uh, for the knuckles made the knuckles. They're steel as well. Some 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 companies have them out there, and they're aluminum, but mine are steel. It's just easier for me to do it that way, and they're strong, so. Yeah, the, the front end of the car is officially like five inches wider total. It's two and a half inches wider on each control arm. So the camera plates, if you can see this, that's where the top of the strut is. It had to be pushed out. Um, the car has, I think, right around three degrees of camber. And um, the front end is mega wide. Everybody thinks it looks strange, but in the drifting world, that's not strange. So. I have to do so many more mods to make the wheels clear now. So um, I have to redo the front fenders, which is fine. Uh, I wasn't totally sold on the ones that I made from the beginning. I, I kind of had some other ideas in mind. It's just, I think I was trying to get to a show with the car. Um, we were filming the video, so it's, it's hard to sort of take your time and do it, do every little detail the way you want it to if, you, if you're under some sort of time restraint. So. Um, I'm redoing the fenders. I'm not like trying to shove myself. I'm kind of doing it as I feel the the vibe because you know I, I mentioned on my Instagram page I posted up a video of sort of asking how everybody thought about it and of the new front fender style but it's I'm not I'm probably not even going to use that what I posted up. I'm probably going to actually redo it and do it a different way. I got some other ideas for um, a different version of the front fender I think I think I'm probably gonna end up going with so you know I I'm not planning on like selling this car or anything you know if I wad the car up then so be it that's the end of its life I, that was the 
that was that was what its its destiny was. But this is my daily driver, as I mentioned before, and you know I take my kids to school in it, and um, you know we go to the movies in it or whatever we're going to do. I drive it daily, so that was the purpose of fixing some of the maintenance issues. But I also want the car to be the way I want it to be, and I realized that having a drift set up on a street car is probably not the most practical thing to do, but I don't care. I, it's the way I want it. I want it to be the way I want it. You know, the motors are a little underpowered for drifting, but if you know what you're doing and you're not like, I mean, it's, it's a little underpowered for drifting in the States on a Formula D level, but it's not underpowered for having a good time at some of the local events. And uh, I got a place I can go drifting, second gear, third gear maybe.